We are all going to die. Shouldn't it be our goal to die with no regrets? The number one regret of the dying is that I wish I lived a life that was true to myself and not the life that others expected of me. Man, this one is hard because how often do we not follow our dreams or do what we want to do simply because we're afraid of what others will think of us? We're so worried about the thoughts and opinions of others that we forget that most of the time that people are so caught up with themselves that they don't even notice us. We should remember this and do what our heart desires no matter what other people will think about it. The second most common regret is that I wish I hadn't worked so hard. Look, we've all been there, working as hard as possible to get the company off the ground or to impress the boss so that we can get a promotion. But at the end of our lives, we're never gonna look back and think to ourselves, man, I wish I would've spent more time at work. What we will think is, I wish I would've spent more time with those that I love. Yes, work hard, build a great life, but don't be so busy making a living that you forget to make a life. The third most common regret is that I wish I had the courage to express my feelings. The world can be a tough place, and lots of times we build up walls to protect ourselves from being hurt, but it's important to remember that while protecting ourselves is important, it's even more important to let those who we love inside of the walls that we built and show them as often as possible how we truly feel about them. Nothing is worse than losing someone that you love and then realizing that it's too late to tell them how you feel. The fourth most common regret is that I wish I stayed in touch with my friends. See, we get so busy with life and sometimes we forget to keep in touch with the people who helped make us into the person that we've become. In the last few days of those who were dying, those people realized that love and laughter were the only things that actually mattered to them. And they had a hard time tracking down those close friends who they truly missed and the ones that they wanted to spend time with in their last days. And the last regret, number five, is that I wish I let myself be happier. See, all too often we forget that happiness is an inside job. If we are going to be happy, no one can do that for us. Buying a new house or buying a new car won't do that for us either. And in people's final days, they realize that happiness was always in their hands, whether they choose to see it or not. It was always their choice. So allow yourself to be happier in this moment. So with those being the five regrets of people in their final days, what can we learn from them? Well, number one, do what you want to do and follow your dreams. Number two, don't work so hard. Number three, express your love to those who deserve it. Number four, hang out with your friends more. And number five, allow yourself to be happy. Look, there's nothing worse than regret. So let's learn from these people that were on their deathbeds so that when we get to the end of our lives, we can look back with no regrets and then die with a smile on our face. Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching this video. If you loved it, please do me a favor, hit that share button down below so that more people can get more messages like this. And if you wanna follow along, you can go ahead and follow my page. I have new videos that come out every single week, but until then, I appreciate you and I hope that you guys have a great day.